It's time for the NBA. Live on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. DA will join us tonight on the sideline. It's the Los Angeles Lakers, the defending NBA champions, taking on the Utah Jazz. So the Lakers win the tip. And now the Lakers starting group, LeBron and Davis, the incredible forward pair. Dennis Schroeder is out there with Caldwell Pope, and it's Drummond in at the center. Now here's James. Six to shoot. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. They get the rebound. Drummond kicks it out to James. Knocked away and stolen by Malone. Misses that one. He's 0 for 1 from the floor. You know, sometimes making it difficult for him to finish at the rim is all you can ask for from the defense. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, I did catch up with Utah's head coach. He was focused on keeping the score close. Coach said, we know LeBron's going to get his, so we have to try to limit the production of everyone around him. That's a tall task, given LeBron's elite playmaking ability. Kevin, back to you. Thanks, David. Here's Caldwell Pope. Contavious Caldwell Pope, his defensive quickness sets him apart. Lakers shooting their first free throws of the game. First one falls. And Caldwell Pope drops them both. Making it look effortless. Send this guy to the stripe. He's going to cash in more than not. First quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone. Malone outside. Pass to Russell. Shot clock at six. Back to Malone. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. And when the size advantage is as big as it was there, I mean, that's exactly what he's supposed to do in that situation. LeBron passes to Davis. Back to James. He can't get that one. Nice D from Russell. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That one on Caldwell Pope. Yeah, and the defense of Russell just outstanding. Feels like he can shut down any player in this league. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Shooting two. And that drops, so they now lead by one. And he makes both free throws. And here's Schroeder. If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. To the middle. Trying to get open is Davis. Nice D from Russell. You know, that's a quick 0 for 4 now. At what point do you call a timeout and reset? 
Hornacek, no luck. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Boy, the fifth time's the charm. That's a big basket there. The Lakers have gone two for two in the game at the line. Poster tags checked in for Foster. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played. Stockton with it. He's picked up by Drummond. Stockton against Drummond. And it's sent back by Drummond. A high motor keeps Drummond engaged defensively. He doesn't want to let any shots go in. Boy, there's not a better target in all of the NBA than Davis for the alley-oop. Here's Stockton following the basket by Anthony Davis. Here's Ostertag. A floater, and it's sent back by Drummond. Now the Lakers on the break. Davis has got the ball, and the dunk by James. Yeah, first and foremost, he's a pass-first team player. It's called Will Pope. Love seeing that. Stockton him alone, using the pick and roll. Three-pointer from Stockton. He gets hauled in by Los Angeles. Schroeder outside. And the call is going to be... Yes, yes it is. An illegal screen. And guys, point of emphasis for the league is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows or they'll call it. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Here's Stockton, and Davis sends it back. Davis so good with his timing and length. To oh, what a dunk! Nothing out of the ordinary there for LeBron. I mean, insane athleticism. Jazz trail by seven. Timeout is called first of the game for the Jazz. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, and you know, that's going to be the focus of this timeout. They need to come up with a spark to get the offense going. Lakers on D. Here's Stockton. Here's Malone. The Jazz with another miss. Here's Los Angeles now. Right now, they're on a 9 0 run. On Will Pope with a wide open look. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Jazz trail by seven. Outside, Russell. Hornacek outside. Feeds it to Malone. Six on the shot clock. The Jazz again can't hit it. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. And he goes in for the dunk. There is a bunch to appreciate about LeBron's game. His passing is off the charts. Just look at that feed. Hornacek outside. And Davis sends it back. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Jazz will retain possession.
Drummond working against Ostertag. Five to shoot. Utah needs to get off a shot here. Boy, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I'll tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. They grab their own miss, and it's Drummond with the jam. This is what Drummond is known for, fellas. I mean, assertive, aggressive. Relentless, hardworking. He's just a dog at offensive timeout, rebound. Timeout. Utah calls timeout. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. And you know, I think he's going to tell him simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. Malone dishes to Russell. Can they get it? Stockton trying to break loose. Can't hit that one. LeBron with some nice deep. Let's it go from the wing. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. Lakers leading by nine. And Will Pope up top. One is set covering. Really seizing the momentum of this game, but doing it with a methodical approach. And you know, that involves pounding it inside, getting as many points as you can right at the rim. That demoralizes the team. It's Hornacek on the wing. He's guarded by Schroeder. Here's Malone. Aldwell Pope with some nice D. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it. They're tearing it up on the glass. <laughs> Defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high a field goal percentage. Yeah, you've got to turn up the dial on the intensity at the defensive end if you're them. I mean, it's still early, but I agree with you. Stockton, Anthony Davis with the rebound. Davis has got six rebounds in the game. He's lost it in this quarter, no doubt about it. Nothing seems to be going for him. Excellent all-around performance so far, hence the big lead. Yeah, you know, they've had the advantage at both ends. They've got all the momentum early on. Now here's Stockton. He's been patient so far, nothing on the scoreboard yet. Caldwell Pope finds James, kicks it out to Schroeder. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Jacks up a three. Malone with the rebound. Jazz trail by 15. Passes it to Russell. Buries it down low. Russell's got his second basket of the night. And how about the awareness there of Hornacek, a high IQ player who just knows how to find his teammates when they're open. It's Schroeder with the drop. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with guns blazing. And there's the pass to Ostertag. Malone down low. He's guarded by Schroeder. And the basket by Malone. Boy, the focus from Malone impressive. Not allowing the defense to get the better of him on these difficult finishes. Time out, time out. And the Lakers decide to take their first time out here. Keith is checked in for Russell. Anderson comes in for Jeff Hornacek. And Isley subbed in for John Stockton. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. Harrell, he's checked in for Andre Drummond. 
Kyle Kuzma comes in for James. Matthews, he's checked in for Contavious Caldwell Pope. And it's Alex Caruso in for Dennis Schroeder. Jazz trail by 15. Here's Isley. Pass to Anderson. Here's Malone. Rebound by Harold. Certainly not the kind of night he was looking for at the offensive end, and it's had a ripple effect on the team. Count that one. Davis has got 10 points. Well, that, that's three of their last five baskets in transition. Here's Isley. Pass to Ostertag. Poked away, and the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Harold. And the Lakers making a change here. Horton Tucker's checked in. Here's Isley. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Shoots from 14. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. He gets it in there. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. You're exactly right. I mean, everything seems to be dropping. Impressive scoring here. Here's Isley. Out to the right wing, and it's out of bounds. Utah able to retain possession here. And he made the right read on that play, but just couldn't secure the steal. You know, fellas, one second quicker, and that's going the other way. Deep two from Anderson. Commendations to Wesley Matthews for the defense. Always hustling and scrapping, doing whatever he can to annoy his man. Passes it to Caruso. The kick out to Matthews. Harrell, the pass to Caruso. Drills it from outside. He's got five. Well, part of their game plan was to block out the noise and just stay focused. And what's been impressive is that it's not been any one player. It's been a collective effort, contributions from everybody. Now here's Malone. Shoots over Kuzma. Trying to end the drought. Ostertag gets the bucket. You've got to be aware of him at all times. He's a bully on the backboards. Here's Horton Tucker. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Matthews scanning the floor. Lock at six. Stolen by Anderson. And the Jazz pushing it up now. The shot's good from Isaac. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And you know you're gonna get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. Horton Tucker, the pass to Caruso. Outside Matthews. The pass to Caruso. Just five on the clock. And it's off from three-point range. Jazz trail by 18. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Anderson passes to Isley. Out of bounds, the Lakers will take possession. And that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. Los Angeles leading by 18. Here's Caruso. He has five. Gets deflected. And Ostertag showing his intensity on defense. A big guy who takes pride in his shot blocking. And here's Matthews from the arc. That shot missing. And so it's Los Angeles with an 18-point lead as the quarter comes to a close. Their defense has been terrific in this game. And we'll be back with you shortly.
And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And for the Lakers, this has been the game they wanted to have. Yeah, in that first period, they looked to push in transition at every opportunity. Yeah, I like the way they play. They're looking to get up and down the court every time. Racehorse basketball here tonight. Strap it up. Don't look down. You'll miss something. Jazz trail by 18. And a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. And so in the game for the Jazz, Malone is out there with Foster. Then it's Isley. Then there's Anderson. And it's Keith in at the small forward position. Down low, here's Caruso. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Matthews has a nice feel, guys, for when a teammate has a clean look, gets him the ball. Anderson outside. Shot clock at six. The three. A rebound by the Lakers. 22 is their biggest lead. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. So it's Utah now after the basket by Los Angeles. Anderson passes to Malone. Shoots over Kuzma. Misses off the right iron. Lakers leading by 20. A floater, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Lakers shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And good on the second, so he makes them both. On offense, here are the Jazz. A minute and a half gone here in the second quarter. Anderson outside. Pass to Malone. Shoots over Kuzma. Another miss by Utah. Lakers leading by 22. Pass to Caruso. Back to Kuzma. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Kuzma's got his first bucket in this one. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Here's Isley. Anderson outside. Passes to Foster. Here is Keith. The pass to Isley. The Jazz with another miss. Here's Caruso. That's another one for him. His fifth in just seven shots. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. And don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. Utah calls timeout. And he has not been on his game here. He is forcing a lot of shots, and the team is suffering because of it. It's time for him to focus on getting his teammates involved.
the Jazz with some changes. Hornacek comes in for Malone. And Stockton subbed in for Isley. LeBron's checked in for the Lakers. Kentavious called Will Pope comes in for Wesley Matthews. Now here's Stockton. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And Anderson kicks to Stockton. To end the run, the Lakers with the rebound. LeBron's got his fifth rebound in this one. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. Oh, great ball movement there. The Lakers have been on target from the free throw line. They're 5 of 5 in that department. The Jazz making a switch here. Russell's checked in. Drummond's checked in for the Lakers. Dennis Schroeder comes in for Alex Caruso. Free throw good, Kuzma. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. One way to protect the lead, knock down those free throws. And 100% free throwing for the quarter, that's superb. Now, here is Hornison. Six on the shot clock. That one off the back iron and out. Boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. You know, guys, no denying it's been a rough patch here. I think they've got to run whatever is best in their playbook to get a good shot. And, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Los Angeles. You know, guys, we've really seen them do a lot of damage in the paint so far. And the other thing that's been equally as effective is the fact that they've gotten out on the fast break. A lot of points coming in transition. That one misses for Kuzma. Kyle Kuzma is a guy who burst on the scene during his rookie year and is a fun player to watch. He's a guy that really has an outstanding all-around game. Four on three break. Lobbed up there for Drummond. Hammers the alley-oop through. And I like the timing that Drummond has on these alley-oops. That's not as easy as he makes it look. He knows precisely when to leave the ground to receive the pass and finish it off. Outside, Russell. Stockton up top. They could use a bucket. Rebound Andre Drummond. Drummond's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And he has lost all confidence out there. Still not a single field goal made in the game. And defensively, they've given up a slew of fast break points. Yeah, seven of the last ten points they've allowed have come in transition. They've got to recover quicker. Now, here is Russell. He has six. Hornacek outside. Pass to Foster. Back to Hornacek. Fires the three. Antoine Carr, he's checked in for Utah. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Davis is checked in. And it's Davis with the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. Only giving up two points this quarter. And that one's good. Schroeder. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. And Davis sends it back. And so the ball out of bounds. Davis touched it last. On defense, the Lakers. Stockton left side. Hornacek for three. Rebound the Lakers. James has got rebound number seven for him tonight. And there's Davis. That's good on the assist by James. LeBron's got five assists tonight. Davis has gotten all six of his shots to drop. Perfect from the floor. Hornacek kicks to Russell. And stolen by LeBron. 
and James throws it down. And this offense is in a perfect rhythm, and you can see how they're finishing their play. Boy, this is borderline ridiculous. I mean, every single attempt finding the bottom of the bucket. Now here's Stockton. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. And he just hasn't been able to make anything this quarter. LeBron, that's a two-pointer, and he wills that one in, sinking right through off the back iron. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. To stop the run, here's Stockton. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Stockton, just a remarkable point guard. Lights out shooter and an even better distributor. This is his first free throw of the game. At the line for two. Shooting two. And the first one drops. Greg Ostertag, he's checked in for Carr. And Stockton drops them both. Schroeder with the ball. Caldwell Pope outside. Pass to LeBron. Inside. Changes up. A second chance effort. Drummond. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And you look at the size and athleticism. Once Drummond gets the ball in there, it's game over. For Los Angeles, they have put up good numbers at the charity strike, converting six of seven. And he makes the first. Selected ninth overall in the 2012 draft. Drummond's carved out a nice NBA career for himself. Second free throw, no good. Stockton outside. He kicks to Russell. Back to Stockton. Six to shoot. Looking to end his cold spell. Here's Ostertag, and he lays it straight in. Well, I love the way he goes after it there. I mean, and you've got to respect that. He's rewarded for his efforts of pursuing the ball. And Drummond throws it down. Thrown down with force. Drummond with great feel around the rim. Now, usually he's one of the leading dunkers in the NBA because he doesn't waste any time or motion in there. Now here's Stock. And it's Russell in the corner. Pulls it up. Stockton can't get it to go. Here's James. That's in. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. The Jazz on offense. Hornacek outside. Pass to Stockton. Caldwell Pope against Hornacek. At the tip. And James pulls it down. The Lakers controlling the game. They've only given up six here in this quarter. 13 feet away. That's short off the rim. Well, uh, you know, they're in the lead, but he's still been frustrated from an offensive standpoint. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over-anxious. He seems to be pressing, trying too hard, moving too fast. Just needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. Here's Hornacek after the basket by the Lakers. 
Now the pass to Russell. To the inside. Here's Ostertag. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That one on Caldwell Pope. Ostertag is an enforcer. I mean, he's a physical presence who um, does a nice job rebounding and patrols the paint well. The Jazz shooting their fifth and six free throws of the game. Two shots. Shooting two. That free throw missing. And the Jazz with some changes. Carl Malone's checked in for Foster. Anderson comes in for Russell. And Isley subbed in for Hornacek. And the second free throw, good. And working, Kevin, themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going. And maybe cause some foul trouble along the way as well. And we know what that can do. It pays off typically in good fashion for you. Yeah, stiff defense gives Drummond some trouble on that shot. But he stays cool and gets a trip to the line. The Lakers have made seven out of nine when they've stepped to the line. Numbers last year for them, just about 73%, so the bottom third of the league. Free throw, good Drummond. You know, he didn't get to the line in that entire first quarter, but right now he's showing some aggressiveness out there. And both free throws good for Drummond. So it's Utah now. Here's Isley. Anderson outside. Pass to Stockton. Here's the three. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Stockton's got five points so far. Oh, what an ugly start to this quarter. Only one of eight from the field. Loads it up for Davis, and it's slammed in by Davis. There are very few players in the class of Anthony Davis. I mean, he is a franchise cornerstone, no question about it. Now here's Stockton. Five points in the game. Pass to Ostertag, and Anderson has it in the corner. The Jazz working the ball around now. Here's Isley. No good that time. Caldwell Pope with some nice D. James dishes to Caldwell Pope. James left side. Caldwell Pope on the wing. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Schroeder's got his fifth assist in this one. There's a minute 40 left here in the second. 11 feet away, a shot by Isley, no good. He's been ice cold tonight. And, you know, you look at the scoreboard, guys, they really could have used this contribution. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Yeah, they've gone away from the triple as they look to protect this lead. Yeah, you know, sometimes that can be a mistake. But they weren't shooting it especially well early on, so um, I think it makes sense to shy away from the triple. Free throw good from Caldwell Pope. We've got 128 left in the first half. Here's Isley. Anderson outside. Passes it to Stockton. Pocket six. They need this. And Davis sends it back. And there's the call on Montrez Harrell. That's his first foul. Second 
Here's the Jazz with the ball. Stockton outside. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. At the line for two. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good, Stockton. And Stockton drops them both. 56 seconds left to play here in the half. Here's Caruso. Here's Harrell. Oh, no. Watch out wow. below. Come on now. Woo. Throw it down. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Guys, not much more a defender can do in that situation. Harrell with the focus and the strength to just power through the contact. Here's Isley. It's stolen by Davis. Here's Caldwell Pope. Rips down the breakaway slam. KCP is a guy who can pull up from three just as easily as take it to the cup. He's a tough cover in transition. The pass to Stockton. Here's Isley. Back to Stockton. Just four to shoot. The Jazz with another miss. And it's the Lakers on the break. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's his first personal foul. The Lakers have been getting it done at the line, 10 for 12. Taking two shots. First free throw is good. Both teams will make substitutions. He hits both from the strike. It's stolen. One second left. That shot, no good. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers able to put on a show for the agents. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. Back right after this. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back. The first half, mercifully coming to a close. I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny's here. Shaq is here. A tremendous start for Contavious Caldwell Pope. He had 20 points, three assists, and two rebounds. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Lakers. What a brilliant, unselfish half of basketball they just played. Their ball movement was absolutely impeccable. All in all, just beautiful basketball to watch. Shaq, what's your take on Utah's Hasn't been pretty anywhere for them. But I turned to their weak inside defense more than anything else. They didn't protect the rim at all. And it's cost them, Ernie. And that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Contavious Caldwell-Pope really making a difference here. 
And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. And it's Utah's ball. Checking out the group of Frank Vogel to start the second half. LeBron and Davis, the incredible forward pair. Caldwell Pope out there with Dennis Schroeder. And it's Drummond in at the center, filling out the middle. Now, here is Russell. And there's the call on Andre Drummond. And that'll be his third foul so far. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. And they're determined to add to the lead, not with more offense, but with big time D. Hey, hey, reload, reload. Got a piece of it and stolen by Drummond. And now the fast break. Schroeder with the ball. Lays it up off the glass. Schroeder's got the first basket of the third quarter for the Lakers. Ripping and, and running. They have a big advantage now in those transition opportunities. No expiration date on their legs. They just seem to be fresh. And they're putting those fresh legs to good use. Yep, it counts. Malone's got eight points. Yeah, like the touch from Malone inside there. I mean, one of the most accomplished scores in the game, without a doubt. The feed to James. And finished off by LeBron. Oh, big finish. Emphatic. He hangs on the rim just for good measure. Wow. But I guess there's nothing wrong with a little bit of showboating here and there. Now, here is Hornacek. No points in the game yet for him. Here's Malone. Misses off the left iron. And so it's Davis. He'll bring the ball up for Los Angeles. For three, Caldwell Pope. And Drummond is right there. They found a nice groove in this half, starting out three for four. Drummond's gone four of five, shooting from the field. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Pass to Malone. Shoots over Schroeder, and there's Carl Malone on the assist by Foster. Malone's got four points this quarter. Boy, Malone has a deadly jump shot especially from the mid-range. Doesn't get any better watching him knock that down. Here's LeBron, and good, and it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. And even with the big lead, he remains focused on the task at hand. Yeah, and you know, that is some shaky and shoddy defensive work. they got to tighten it up. Now here's Stockton. He's got seven. Great tee that time from Davis. He feeds it to Schroeder. Janice Powell. Jeff Bridges. That's his first personal foul. This is his first trip to the line tonight. A year ago, he had an 84% success rate on his foul shots. So he was a guy they were always happy to see at the line. You know, he really did excel at the stripe. I mean, they couldn't have asked for too much more Shooting from him two. when it came to knocking down free throws. That free throw, no good. And he sinks the second. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Stockton against Caldwell Pope. Stockton, no good. And here are the Lakers. And here comes the break. Caldwell Pope with it, picked up by Stockton. And it's slammed in by Davis. You know, it's not only his size and strength and athleticism, but Davis's timing is so special. That's why he boards it so well. Now, here is Hornacek. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Stockton outside. Pass to Malone. Over Davis. And the layup's good off the glass. Yeah. 
And here is Los Angeles now. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. Stock then against Schroeder. Kicks it to Caldwell Pope. Shot clock at six. James outside. Let's it go with a three. It drops. That's his ninth field goal of the contest. A blistering hot nine for 11. And you know, you come to expect this type of play from LeBron. I mean, he's relentless when he's in attack mode. Now, here is Hornacek. Al Malone to the wing on the left. Stockton outside. Great D that time from Dennis Schroeder. So it's the Lakers now. Here's Caldwell Pope. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. LeBron's got assist number eight now on the night. Now, here is Hornacek. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Passes it to Stockton. Outside, Russell. And the pass to Malone. Hornacek against Caldwell Pope. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Now the Lakers on the break. James with the ball. And that one's good. Schroeder. Yeah, how about the percentage they're shooting from beyond the arc here in the second half? No question about it. They found a nice rhythm from deep. Now here's Stockton. He has seven. The Jazz making a switch here. Cars checked in. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for Andre Drummond. Here's Los Angeles now. Schroeder outside. Good for another field goal. Number five in the night. Five for ten shooting. And really the story of this second half. One team getting the shots they want. The other, not so much. And that's why you have such a huge gap in the shooting numbers between the teams. Now here's Stockton. Hornacek outside. To end the drought. Anthony Davis grabs the miss. Davis has got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Here's Caldwell Pope. The rebound by the Jams. No one to blame on that one but himself. You get looks like that, you've got to take advantage. And here's Hornacek. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. And Davis sends it back. Two on one as they jump out on the break. And Kuzma with the basket on the assist by Caldwell Pope. Caldwell Pope's got five assists in the game. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Lakers. We've seen them make the extra effort from a defensive standpoint, closing out airspace and sending shots back. They haven't wasted time getting the ball up the court tonight either, and it's resulted in a lot of fast break points. And Hornacek, no doubt, a leader. A knockdown shooter moves incredibly well without the ball. It's his first trip to the line. Jeff Hornacek taking two shots. First one falls for him. So Utah going with an almost entirely new group here. Oster tags checked in for Carr. Keefe comes in for Malone. Anderson, he's checked in for Russell. And Isley subbed in for John Stockton. The Lakers also changing it up. Harrell, he's checked in for James. Matthews comes in for Contavious Caldwell Pope. And it's Alex Caruso in for Dennis Schroeder. So he gets them both. Here's Caruso. He's got 13. Kuzma outside. Pass to Harrell. Outside Matthews. Pass to Davis. Back to Matthews. Now here's Kuzma. Trying to get open is Davis. And another three for the Lakers. 
and perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. Now, here is Hornacek. Pass to Anderson. Another miss by Utah. Well, he wanted to return the favor there for that last three, but it just wasn't in the cards. Here's Caruso. That one is good again. He's six for eight from the floor with the basket. Matthews taking advantage of the attention he draws on offense to find an open teammate. Here's Isley. Anderson outside. There's the pass to Isley. Ostertag. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Way to work the glass. Buffet style. Second chance bucket. They can make a big difference. Pass to Caruso. It's Davis on the wing. Here's Harrell. And that one falls coming off of Davis's feed. You know, with AD's improved court awareness, when guys on his team get open, he'll find them. Here's Isley. Hornacek outside. Pass to Isley. He can't hit that time. And the Lakers will go the other way with it. And here's the fast break. And Davis throws it down. When Davis gets going like this, there's no way you can stop him giving you his entire package right now. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need a basket. Ball's knocked loose. Up top, Hornacek. For the three. Kuzma pulls it in. It's almost like he's trying to make things hard on himself. You know, he's just got to slow the game down, try to get some easy ones. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Here's Isley following the basket by Anthony Davis. Hornacek with it. From about 19 feet and he hits the jump shot. He's obviously hit a, a bit of a dry spell here. Only one of five this quarter. Here are the Lakers with the ball. Here's Caruso. 15 points in the game. Now Hornacek. Good on the baseline, Jay. Hornacek's got his second bucket of the night. And he's showing signs now of life after going scoreless through the half. Caruso kicks to Kuzma. Now here's Harrell. He's covered closely. Banked in off the glass. Harrell's got six points. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. You know, the defense has been very slow to adapt. I mean, that's ten straight points now inside. Now here is Hornacek. Six points for him. Here's Ostertag. And it's Ostertag with the jam. And when he's on the floor, offensive rebounding is always going to be a strength for them. Greg, he keeps so many possessions alive, doesn't he? And, you know, those second-chance opportunities can be game-changers. He represents so much value to this team because of what he does. And here is Los Angeles now, following the bucket by the Jazz. And he overdid it there. Too much force, it looked like, on the foul, and he's called for the flagrant. And, and Kevin, I got to tell you, he's probably fortunate to just get a flagrant one there. I mean, so much contact. The Take officials easily could have gone Two even shots. harder on him. Greg, I agree. He'd better be on his best behavior from now on. One more flagrant of any variety, and he's out of here. And that one falls for Anthony Davis. You know, in this 21st century version of the NBA, just being big is not enough. Davis personifies the evolution of the big guy. He's got game from everywhere on the floor. And so Anthony Davis nails both of them. Morris is checked in for the Jazz. And the Lakers also making a change. Horton Tucker's checked in. 
So it's the Lakers now. And it's Davis missing. 50 seconds left here in the third quarter. Isley the pass to Morris. Here is Keith. Count it. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. And Caruso's got the ball here for the Lakers. Passes to Harrell. Right side Davis. Releases the pass to Caruso. The three-pointer no good. And so it's Utah here with the ball. Here's Isley. Up and in on the layup. Isley's got his second bucket. Attacking in transition the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. And the pass there floated it up to the precise spot it needed to be. And no messing around on the finish. He powers it through. And that's an alley-oop that'll be loop-to-loop -loop all day long on the highlight reel. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been decided. The Lakers on top, just dominating this one. And after a quick break, we're going to come right back with the start of the fourth quarter. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? Uh, just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? And they'd love to see every possession in this way. True team basketball. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. We've got Foster. Keith is out there with Morris. Then it's Isley. And it's Vaughn in at the point guard position. That's the group right now for Utah. And that's just cold-blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Guys, when you're this hot, it's elementary. Let it fly. Keep staying at it. Near the three-point line, it's Morris. That shot off the mark. And the Lakers take it the other way. Here's Horton Tucker. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. And the foul goes against Utah. Two shots. Shooting two. First free throw is good. Marcus Gasol has checked in for the Lakers. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Here's Vaughn. Morris outside. Five on the clock. No good off the back of the rim. Here's Los Angeles now. We played just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. And that one's good, Caruso. Here's Vaughn. Fires the three. They get it again. It's good on the putback. And folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that backboard. Keith's gotten two of his three shots to go tonight. Here's Caruso. And another basket to his impressive total. It's his ninth against 12 attempts. Boy, he's playing out of his head, nailing everything. And the defense is scrambling to try to stop him right now. And so far, no go. Morris into the lane. Pass to Vaughn. Oh, 
Top of the key. The Lakers with the rebound. Well, I like the defense there. Right up in his grill. Didn't give him a chance. Pass to Caruso. And here is Dudley. And it goes down two points. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. They get a hand on it. Passes it to Isley. He kicks it to Morris. A three ball. But they get it back. Now the pass to Isley. Here's Vaughn. And a miss there on the triple. The Lakers on offense. They're on a 10-2 run here. To the paint. Here's Gasol. And Gasol with the dunk. And this offense is in a perfect rhythm. And you can see how they're finishing their plays. Boy, this is borderline ridiculous. I mean, every single attempt finding the bottom of the bucket. Morris kicks to Vaughn. The teardrop falls in. Vaughn's got his first points in this one. Oh, perfect timing there to knock down the teardrop. Pass to Horton Tucker. Matthews, no one around him. No good on the three. And so it's Morris with it. He'll bring it up for the jam. The shot's good from Isel. Terrific accuracy on that pass. That's how you lead your teammate. Here's Caruso. Horton Tucker, the pass to Gasol. That one goes in. Gasol's got four points in the quarter. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. Those looks they're allowing are almost automatic. And there's the foul. It'll go on Jared Dudley. That is his first foul of the game. Carr, he's checked in for the Jazz. Brown comes in for Eisen. And then for Los Angeles, Morris is checked in for Dudley. And Dennis Schroeder subbed in for Alex Caruso. Schroeder against Brown. To the middle, here's Vaughn. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. Wesley Matthews picks one up. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. And the first one at the line is good. So he hits one of two from the strike. So it's the Lakers now. They've allowed just seven points here in the fourth quarter. And out of bounds as the Jazz gain possession. Now here's Brown. to Vaughn. Four on the clock. Morris with the ball. Cans it from downtown. And you know, even though he's not a lights out shooter from deep, the Morris. defense still has to be more aggressive there. Here's Horton Tucker. Eleven feet away, it's rebounded by Carr. And it's the Jazz's ball. On the wing, Morris. Brown the pass to Vaughn. 
Brown feeling out of it. It's stolen by Schroeder. Oh, and here comes Schroeder all alone. Yeah, that's a tough call right there, and, and really a tough break for the D. No problem for me with that call. I mean, he was still sliding right there. Passes to Gasol. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Boy, the confidence of Gasol on the block is really impressive to see. I mean, once he gets good positioning, he goes right to work. Morris into the lane. Can't cash in from close range. That's exactly the look they wanted, guys. Right guy, right play. Wrong result. Here's Horton Tucker. The shot will not fall. The Jazz go the other way with it. Morris outside. To the wing right side. Carr against Gasol. Rejected by Gasol. You really got to admire the reach of Gasol. He's excellent at utilizing those long arms of his to turn away shots. And this is why coaches talk about playing with pace. The scoreboard tells it all. That really has been the difference. I mean, they've been the better team in transition. Here's Vaughn. Shot clock at five. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Vaughn's got six in the quarter. Yeah, these defenders had better start closing down on shooter. Tags checked in for Keith. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for the Lakers. And here is Los Angeles now. Los Angeles with another miss. Inside, here's Vaughn. That shot off. Kuzma with the defensive effort. Here's Schroeder. Plays it up and banks it in. Schroeder's got 10 points here in the second half. Yeah, you know, we've seen a much different version of him in this half, guys. He's been sharper, more focused, and more assertive. And the foul called on Markeith Morris. That is his first foul of the game. Brown outside. Morris outside. No good from outside. All the time in the world to get that one off. Here's Schroeder. And Juan Kong grabs the miss. Pass break. Here come the Jazz. And it's blocked. Upping his intensity on the defensive end. Love to see that. Kuzma uses his length and athleticism to challenge and alter shots. That's his second personal foul. At the line of the Lakers, Dennis Schroeder taking two shots. Shooting two. That's good from Schroeder. Schroeder hits them both. And not a single free throw attempt in that first half, but he has been far more active since the break and drawn some fouls. And Dennis Schroeder gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. Morris outside.
just five to shoot. Brown inside. He's guarded by Schroeder. And now the fast break. Schroeder with the ball. And he comes up with the deuce. Schroeder's got six here in this quarter. Encouraging signs for him after starting the game poorly. He's picked it up here in the second half. Pass to Vaughn. The kick out to Brown. Morris passes to Vaughn. That three off the mark. Not sure if he just ran out of gas or what. He's been awful ever since the second half started. Not even been a factor. Schroeder against Brown. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. At the line of the Lakers, Dennis Schroeder. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from Schroeder. Schroeder hits them both. Here's Vaughn. The kick out to Brown. On the wing, Morris. Oster tag pass to Brown. Will it go? And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. And Morris has got the ball here for the Los Angeles Lakers. Out to the right wing. That's tipped. It's stolen by Brown. Morris with the ball. Now guarded by Schroeder. Here's Horton Tucker, and it's good for two. Horton Tucker's got six points in the quarter. Pressuring the ball and making a play that created the opportunity. You know, you push it after a steal, there's almost no chance the defense can get back and recover. The pass to Morris, uncovered. That's good on the jump shot. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Pass to Gasol. Back to Schroeder. And here's Kuzma. Six on the shot clock. Takes the three. It's hauled in by Ostertag. Ostertag's got eight rebounds in this game. Brown outside. Morris outside. Let's it fly from 18. That one a little long. The Lakers on offense. They're on a 14 to 5 run here. Schroeder outside. Trying to get open is Kuzma. Makes that one fall. It's his eighth bucket in 15 shot attempts. They just blocked out the noise, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. Boy, a fantastic performance. And I'll tell you something, I mean, you get roadkill, that's always a challenge in the NBA, no matter what. And they got it done. They get it back. Ostertech. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. They get Marcus Saul. Clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there, Shooting earned Utah. those free throws. Craig Ostertag. Two shots. Two shots. 
and he knocks down the first one. Both good from the line that time. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Caruso. High arcing shot, and that's two points on the layup. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback? Diminished. Here's Vaughn. And it's blocked. They recover it. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. Hey, that's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.